Okay, this week's QA. Someone asked me my thoughts on uh, James Ellsworth. So I'll give you the brief background on it. <clears throat> they were looking for a body to feed to Braun Strowman. And as they did their extras, but he was asked by Arn Anderson to throw a punch. And he was like, you know, it's a pretty good punch. We're going to use it. Of course, he was backstage. They gave him his lines. And he was like, well, I, I've got a line I'm working on. And he made it with two hands as a fighting chance. And they went, it's good. They came back quite a bit later and was like, you know what that line you had? Use it. Here it is. Use the ring. He used it and the crowd kind of went, I like that guy. I like that guy. I like that jobber. And he did well and he was like, you know, we'll probably use it more often. You know, he had a, a decent amount, a decent crowd, crowd reaction. But then it was supposed to be just like one-offs. It's like, you know, we're going to use you to help fuel the feud between AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose. Here's the problem, though. The live crowd started getting really behind these kids, and they're like, ah! Ellsworth! Ellsworth! And pseudo Goldberg standoff. And I was like, okay. Yeah. For people that are there live, the live experience is totally different from watching at home. If you watch it live, certain things that feel played out to the home audience, don't, because you're there and you get swept up in the overall emotion of it. Ellsworth gets a pop. If you watch Liam in Scotland, he got a wicked pop in that music game. Survivor Series, he got a nice pop. He's getting a good pop. Is it sustainable? Probably not. I, I'm one of those people where I'm, I'm glad that he's there. I know why that he's there. I know why he's popular. He's popular because when you look at him, he is a lifelong fan. When you read any of his interviews or hear anything that he says, he's humble. He is thrilled to be there. From a fan's, from a fan's perspective, we all watch what goes out of that ring, and we would love to be the people inside that ring. We're on the outside staring at the guy down there. Almost every single person who is in that crowd would love to be that guy in the ring. We look at Ellsworth, and dang it, he looks like he could be the guy sitting next to you. He's very unassuming. He's a tremendous underdog. Flip that around. John Cena's a professional wrestling fan. Huge fan. They show his older photos. as him with the cardboard belt. But, you know what? We don't, we don't look like super soldier serum you know, Matt Damon we don't look like that we look like Ellsworth talking about the fan base we look like Kevin Owens like CM Punk like Daniel Bryan there's a collection of the wrestling fan that look and understand the underdog aspect if you're a wrestling fan you're already thought of oh it's fake you're an idiot why do you watch that stuff it's garbage were already looked down upon. When the E was trying to monetize their fan base, they got less money per fan than NASCAR. NASCAR has a higher valuation when it comes to commercials in the WWE universe. Think about NASCAR fans. From an advertiser, we're worth less than NASCAR fans. On average, not college educated, we're looked at like a bunch of idiots. So to see somebody who looks and feels like he's a guy from the crowd, like he's section, you know, 314, row H, seat 24, and he's in the ring with Braun Strowman. We get it, we get behind him. That's why it's let's go jobbers. That's why that's the chant. Is it going to get played out? Oh, yeah. It's totally getting played out. His ceiling isn't very high. I think almost everyone is waiting for that moment when AJ Styles just obliterates him. I was almost thinking after they did the, the Braun Strowman bit, you know, Ellsworth needs to go away for a couple of weeks. Not a lot, just a couple of weeks. You know, if they were to do a spot backstage where Ellsworth is walking and AJ Styles just blasts him. 
Because he's still, you know, he's got the he's got the waist girdle, got the neck brace. If you just blast him hard and just, you know, pretty much put him on the shelf, throw him an ambulance, people will boo AJ Styles. AJ Styles will be the bully. There's a tremendous amount of goodwill with that character. Not a lot. It's not going to last for a long period of time, but the fact they can have him be the person that AJ destroys that helps sever that bond AJ has with the crowd, that's going to be impressive. Take it a step farther. What if it's Baron Corbin? What if AJ Styles beats James Ellsworth? Beats him pretty bad, but not like really, really bad. And then Ellsworth is walking up, adulation of the crowd, gets onto the, gets to the top, you know, just, just beaten, puts his arm up, he's like, you know, like, I, I hung with the champ and I lost. And then Boyer and Corbin hits him end of days on the ramp. And then I guess jackknife power bombs through a table or something on the outside. The heat that you can get on something like Baron Corbin. Because he's because Elvis has great, great fan sympathy. There's a lot they can do with that guy. He is somebody that if your face is floundering and he's getting beaten down, you come down the ring and you save him. You get that goodwill with the fans. If you're a heel and you brutalize Ellsworth, like horrendously, like, hit him with a ladder, put him through a table, powerbomb him through two chairs, put this way so the backs are facing outward. There's a lot they can pull from him. Because that great connection he has with the audience. Because he looks like one of us. He sounds like one of us. But he's also a wrestler and a promoter. So he's everybody's favorite indie darling. It has the idea we see in some form kind of turn on him. That's the fickleness of of that that group think where it's we want to make somebody big, but the moment you choose to make them big, it takes it away from us, and therefore we can't like it. Um, I'm digging it currently. I do think that there is a tremendous shelf life on him. I do think he needs to get beaten down horribly by a, by a heel and then be taken off TV for not a long time. I'm thinking this is like one, two weeks from not being there. Just enough. So that way then when the heel comes out, the crowd can be chanting for James. They'll be like, well, he's not showing up this week. He's still in that hospital. And elicit that booze. That's what they want. They want to get that heel, get that tremendous amount of heat from beating up the guy who's got that nice rapport with the crowd. And then whoever comes down to avenge Ellsworth beatdown, it gives them a little more lower face credibility. There's a lot they can do with him. Just don't overplay your handy. This is very much like Fondangoing. It's going to hit more it's going to swell, and then it's going to fall away. Don't push it hard after it's swelled. Ride to the crest, and then back off. Don't try to ride hard after it crests. 